Yeah, it was. Um, you know, obviously, took a lot of uh, thought about the what was happening and where we we're at. And, um, you know, I guess it's one thing that I didn't take really lightly, and I had to you know, really sit down, meet my wife, and, and think about our future. And you know, uh, it's not an easy job to do, but you know, I just I really thank the club for what they've done and, and made it you know a lot easier for me. And you know, we've both been honest with each other, and I think that was um, you know really really helped a lot. And, Made the decision a lot easier, and uh, you know, I've just got to look to the future now. And uh, you know, I want to be able to muck around with my kids and you know, be active life. So, you know, it was one of those things that I had to, to weigh up a lot of things. I guess you know, I've always had a, a crook knee for the last couple of years, and it's just one of those things that just keeps getting worse and worse. And the, the more treatment we did, the, the worse it got. So, it was one of those things that just got to the stage, and I guess mentally and physically got the better of me and um, you know I guess you know when the time's right. Mate, I've loved every minute of it. It's, um, you know, it's, a, it's such a great club with a, a proud history, um, you know, and it made us feel welcome. And you know, just looking at the, the comments from the fans in the last couple of days, last night and today, it's very, very humbling. And um, you know, I, I really going you know, to miss the fans a lot. And um, you know, I've been very, very lucky in my career to, to be surrounded by great fans in you know, St George Illawarra, Canberra Raiders, St George Illawarra, and the Rovers. So, you know, my career's been very, very um, you know, exciting to be around them, them types of fans and the Rovers will definitely go down as one of the best and um, you know I'm really going to miss the fans. 2010 was just a, an amazing year and I guess it's not till now that I look back and really reflect on it. Um, you know I, I was lucky enough to um, be a part of a very, very successful team and um, you know it went really well and I played for Australia in May um, then played Origin uh, then we won the comp and then got married and then uh, played the World Club Challenge uh, in 2011. So I guess that year really stands out for me and really reached the heights of rugby league and I guess it's one of those things that you never ever forget and it's not till now that you really reflect on what you've done in your career. Um, you know, and it's, I walk away very, very proud um, and, you know, very proud and, and, and happy with where we've gone and look, the, the people we've met I think is the best thing is, you know, we've met some great people in Australia and we've met some, you know, greater people in England that, you know, around Hull that are friends forever and, you know, the club will always hold a special place in my heart. So, you know, I'm ever, ever grateful for, for what the club have done and, you know, it was a, a decision that I, I didn't really take lightly. Um, you know, I didn't really want to let the club down by not playing um, and I didn't want to let the club down by, by playing and not being right. So I, I thought it was best that we we moved on.